Would you give us a hand? You use the hand help one? Okay. So, Ron Matthews is a commander currently serving as a chief of response for U.S. Coast Guard Sector Los Angeles, Long Beach, California. Under the direction of the sector commander, Mom provides operational oversight and execution of the sector's law enforcement, marine environmental response, and Port Waterways coastal security mission. And that's it, yes? Okay, and without further ado, Ron Matthews. Thanks, thanks, Yvonne. Um, outside of that, but Yvonne just passed, I got nothing to say. <laughs> there, there is a federal perspective, and I guess it is that the Coast Guard showed up. Um, uh, thank you, Yvonne, for the kind introduction. Um, it, it's really, really good to be here with you all, friends, and um, it's, it's uh, also entertaining for me and a treat for me uh, to be uh, in the response. My career has been in the response uh, uh, perspective of the Coast Guard. Um, so it's a treat for me to be here amongst the prevention folks and add a little spice to, uh, to, to the proceedings. So um, everything that Yvonne said is true for fact checkers in the, uh, in the audience, you know, we're, we're, we're good. Um, but just like we are down in uh, Los Angeles in the Hollywood area, we're offering different perspectives to the, uh, to the, same, uh, to the same movie. Um, so this is the uh, subject pipeline. Uh, after it was repaired, and uh, I'll, I'll move through just a very abbreviated slide deck, uh, so about 45 slides, uh, so make sure that your, your, your cell phones are charged, and, you know, your games are, your games are on key, uh, and, and eBay shopping. Um, so really good to be here again. Thank you very much to State Lands and Prevention First folks for, uh, for, for allowing me the opportunity to speak. Um, there's a lot of environmental conditions that, that Yvonne covered. Uh, some of the others, uh, a lot of sensitive sites, uh, plus a, uh, the, the campground, two campgrounds, Refugio and El Capitan uh, State Parks. Um, we, we generated a lot of great relationships um, with the state park folks, and, and that was really beneficial to us because uh, a huge property owner uh, in coastal California and uh, somewhere where our, our world of work is going to intersect their world of work. Um, through, during the Refugio uh, uh, event, uh, we learned a lot from um, from Ranger Jelly, big tall guy. Uh, it was amazing uh, his, his breadth of knowledge and, and uh, his expertise in the area with respect to both the state interests as well as some of the tribal interests. Um, the grunion, you know, they're going to come around and and start spawning, and uh, you know, certainly the snowy plover birds and uh, some other um, uh, marine mammals that Yvonne mentioned as well. Tomoak acid and the red tide occurrence is another factor that we. Uh, considered one of the environmental conditions uh, during this response. Uh, naturally, uh, uh, the marine protected areas from some of the tribal uh, influences. Uh, we already com covered the command posts. Uh, the unified composition, uh, unified command composition. Um, something that the Coast Guard utilized during this, uh, which is gaining traction, I think, nationally within the Coast Guard, is the, is the use of an administrative order. Um, and within the Coast Guard, and, and what the, the effectiveness of the, uh, of the administrative order is to, is to outline specifically to the responsible party what, their, what the Coast Guard, the federal expectation is. And in this case, we, we crafted a joint uh, administrative order between us and the EPA, uh, directing planes to uh, affect uh, recovery efforts and, and uh, resources to the, uh, to the completion of the spill. And it also defined, it served to define that uh, Captain uh, Williams, Jennifer Williams, was the captain of the port, federal on-scene coordinator at the time, and Captain Downey, uh, that they were uh, federal on-scene coordinators, um, and that the Coast Guard assumed, uh, the, uh, assumed the role of the lead federal authority during this response. And Santa Barbara County, certainly. So this, I, I call this the that's interesting um, <laughs> category, where, where things just kind of, we, a lot of us haven't seen this in different parts of the country uh, when we've been on, on certain responses. And, and that was the spontaneous result, uh, spontaneous response from the community. And, and um, it was interesting to, to see this kind of outpouring with, with Home Depot and Orchard Supply hardware buckets uh, being employed. So that, that, that indicates that there was a, uh, a coordinated effort of some sort that people in the, in the community uh, generated an interest 
to uh, uh, start collecting oil on the beach. Naturally, from the federal perspective, our biggest concern was just the safety of, of those folks. They're, they're coming into contact with a, a substantial quantity of, of hazardous material at this point. And, and the effects on our, on our skin, the dermatitis uh, uh, possibility, or, or even, even worse, some in, inhalation or ingestion uh, types of uh, hazards with this deeply concerned uh, the unified command. So it was really important for us to, uh, to get our arms wrapped around and thankfully with, with Cindy's help and, and the state of California we were able to do that. Um, naturally timing is everything. Captain Rochester mentioned that this morning to us in our morning brief. Uh, Memorial Day weekend, large events um, and our Coast Guard routine transfer season this May 19th to, you know, through the summer is, is basically when, when I pack up my bags and get my household goods and move out to another part of the country. Um, so a lot of our key people uh, at, the, uh, at the sector here in Los Angeles were, were either moving out or just moving in. So our, our rotation of people was slim and, and we had to be uh, very uh, cautious and at the same time demanding, you know, saying we, we'll, have to, we'll have to put the move off for another week until we get through this hump and get some reserves in. Um, it was also UC Santa Barbara's graduation, um, and, and I think it was a 5,000 person, 5,000 people graduating at the same time. That's crazy. So that, that co compounded it, as well as uh, uh, Santa Barbara City College's uh, graduation. So hotels and uh, parking spaces were at a premium. Um, we had some cultural influences with, uh, with folks from, uh, from the Chumash, and, and Really, we learned a lot from their 13,000 years of, uh, of history in that area of, of coastal California. And that was one of the great benefits that uh, uh, I think came from uh, interaction uh, with tribal, tribal uh, uh, monitors and tribal representatives is to learn about their culture and uh, uh, get them involved in the response as well. Uh, citizens and volunteers. You know, so I learned something that. Uh, uh, volunteers are, are volunteers. They're, they're, they're straight up people and usually folks that are trained. Um, so Santa Barbara uh, CERT teams, the California Conservation Corps, we had a lot of uh, volunteer organizations come and, and assist. And you know, again, we, we looked at the state of California uh, for uh, the thanks and the assistance in, in coordinating that effort. Because this was one of those areas, it was not isolated, uh, like an island or 50 miles offshore where we were managing a, a slick coming towards shore. Like, like Administrator Collins said this morning, this was un unconventional. It happened on land and it moved into the ocean. Uh, so this, this kind of event, it was, it was on land already and in, in a very informed community that uh, had a lot of uh, uh, horsepower to, um, to get things going. So the, the Beach and clean up the various task force, task for citizens. That was another uh, initiative that um, we we modified the hazardous uh, waste operations emergency response um, uh, training curriculum uh, for folks so that they can be part of uh, part of the response. And, and that went a long ways for uh, developing trust within the community. Uh, again, some more in the that's interesting category. So tar balls in four counties. During the same time, Captain Downey was uh, also the federal on-scene coordinator in, a, in another uh, tar ball incident in the uh, Redondo Beach, Manhattan Beach area uh, down in LA County. And um, so we, we had to kind of divide and conquer, take a few resources from our refugio effort and move it down into, uh, into LA County. and, um, and effective cleanup in that respect. There was some, there was some thought that it was the, you know, co, uh, 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 traveled oil from Refugio down to, uh, to the South Bay. And that still, uh, that, that prompted a huge sampling effort, a multi-agency sampling effort between us, uh, between the Coast Guard, uh, the state of California, and uh, the Plains folks, uh, where they, uh, they uh, used uh, CTEH laboratories, the Center for Toxicology and Environmental Health, I think that's what it stands for. Um, to uh, collect samples and analyze them in independent labs to confirm uh, 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 relationships. Um, we we uh, contributed to this, uh, we called it a sampling blitz. Uh, we contributed to this sampling effort for, for quite a few months through uh, the summer of 2015 into the, uh, into the winter. Um, 
Yvonne mentioned the three, three uh, areas of, um, of our operations, inland, uh, offshore, and onshore. M much like the pictures you saw, I think it's, it's easy to relate. Um, a lot of safety constraints, uh, some, some sheer cliff uh, work that uh, technicians had to address, uh, as well as nighttime operations. Um, and you know, that, that sitting down is hard work too. Um, and and uh, especially at night in the cool Santa Barbara breeze, but uh, it did get warm during the days and then wearing the Tyvek suits, uh, there was a few instances of some heat stress. Um, but we worked through those, uh, those issues with uh, uh, the experience and knowledge of oil spill removal organizations. Five minutes, sorry. Tribal involvement, um, lots. We, we engaged the Chumash tribes uh, and their bands Figured out the right people to help us out with uh, monitoring um, and, and uh, monitoring operations on, out in the field, as well as uh, joining our uh, shoreline cleanup assessment technique teams, and uh, ensuring that uh, tribal sensitivities were addressed by uh, uh, our field technicians. Naturally, communications and, and public information was another big uh, uh, topic for us. Uh, we learned a lot, in, especially in the Coast Guard, with respect to how to manage a chick, a joint information center, and publish uh, our information um, related to the spill, and, and leveraging social media, and leveraging the, uh, the town hall, uh, open house type of, uh, of uh, approaches to informing the community. Um, since then, the Unified Command teams have uh, met through uh, the fall and winter of 2015, um, going through the endpoints of, um, of, of an agree, a unified command agreed uh, uh, progression of cleanup um, and sampling. So whenever there was a, an event where some tar balls or something uh, uh, occurred in the Santa Barbara area, um, that joint team um, consisting of uh, the responsible party, the State of California Coast Guard, would conduct uh, sampling and analysis to see if it still matched uh, pipeline oil. Um, that was completed in the end of uh, January of 2016. Uh, on May 3rd, uh, 2016, uh, Captain Williams uh, uh, released and, and, and we published the uh, Federal On Scene Coordinator's After Action Report, which is available on that website um, for, for your purview. It's only 47 pages, too, so that's the beauty. It's, it, it's not too bad. and. Uh, but it's hard to read, no, no pictures. We, we kind of got rid of the pictures. Oh. Um, importantly though, is our, our after action report has 22 lessons learned. And, and, and I think this is the good news that it gives us at, at, at Los Angeles, Long Beach and our area committee between regions four and five. Um, a good starting point, a jump off point to uh, uh, refresh and revisit our, our response tactics, techniques and procedures here in, in Southern California. Uh, and invite those non-governmental organizations uh, to, to be, become partners with us in the response community. Uh, and we could certainly use their expertise. Uh, UC Santa Barbara is, is a wealth of expertise and we're happy to have them uh, contribute on a couple of our, sub, uh, our work groups uh, and subcommittees that are contributing to our knowledge of the natural sea uh, phenomenon in the area and, uh, and how to contend with that in some of these kind of unconventional, because it, it can happen from a pipeline, it can happen from a rail car or a tank truck. Um, their Highway 101 skirts the ocean side pretty closely, and um, the, those kind of vulnerabilities are, are there. But the risk we still contend is, is from offshore. Uh, there's still a lot of uh, ship traffic uh, skirting the coast of California, and um, part of this, uh, uh, some of these after actions, uh, lessons learned, are, are addressing some of those concerns as well. Yes, ma'am. All right, and that's it. Um, so the before and after. So I think that's the that's the that's the hallmark cleanup shot. Thank you. <laughs>